Hi there, we're on part 12 of our discipleship pathway, thinking about the journey that we have as Christians from the moment we become a Christian to the moment that we die. And in particular this week, we're thinking about the challenges of the discipleship pathway. And today we're thinking about the decisions which we have to make. Before I begin, though, let me just tell you the answer to yesterday's riddle about how many uh, triangles were in that triangle. That was the test and there were 18. I hope you got that right. But decisions are not very easy, like deciding between custard or rice pudding. That's a difficult one for me because I love both. Or between beans and peas or cheese and onion or salt and vinegar. Some decisions are quite small and quite simple and they don't have long-term consequences. But other decisions that we have to make in life can be big decisions and can actually have consequences for life. The greatest decision that we will ever have is whether we become a Christian or not, whether we give our hearts and lives to God or not. That has the consequences, not just for time, for the period that we're living on earth, but also for all eternity. David, before he became a king, he had some big decisions to make. One decision he had to make was when he was taking lunch to his brothers who were in the army, in the Israelite army, and they were facing the Philistine army. And every day, this Philistine giant called Goliath, over nine feet tall, would come out and challenge the Israelite army to send their champion out against him. But of course, nobody dared to do that. They were all too scared. David had the decision on whether to keep quiet like the rest of them, be afraid like the rest of them or not. And he chose to not be afraid. He chose to not be silent, but to speak out. And this is what he says in 1 Samuel 17, verse 32. David said to Saul, the king, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, you're not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You're only a boy and he's been a fighting man from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or bear comes and carries off a sheep from the flock, I go after it, strike it and rescue the sheep from its mouth. When it turns on me, I seize it by the hair, strike it and kill it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear and this uncircumcised Philistine will just be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. And the story goes on and of course he kills Goliath and cuts off his head. But it all came from that decision. Was David going to be quiet and be fearful? Or was he going to stand up for truth, stand up for justice, stand up for right and speak out? We have decisions like that to make very often in our lives. In fact, every day we have decisions to make. Are we going to stand up for God? Are we going to speak out for God? Are we going to live for God? Are we going to do what is right? Are we going to reach out and care for those in need or not? May God bless every one of us as we make decisions on our discipleship pathway. May he give us the wisdom and the courage to make good decisions. God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.